Ho ho, hello guys. Just a quick video showing you a little bit about the Black Widow Mighty Vaporizer. The um, reason I'm doing this video is because when I bought this item to use for myself for everyday use, um, there was no information at all really on how to use it, how to clean it, uh, how to maintain it. So I had to watch sort of 10 different reviews and piece together little bits of information from each one and figure out how to use the thing. So I'm doing this video just to give you a very, very brief um, explanation of what the parts are, how to use them, how to clean them. Uh, hopefully, hopefully you find it helpful. So in the box, you get a two pin charger, which is just an adapter. No use to me, I live in the UK. Um, you get a silicon mouthpiece, goes on here because this bit gets pretty hot when you're vaping it, I'm not going to lie. It gets kind of uncomfortably hot, you can't really put your lips on it without that unless you're the Terminator or something, so I would use that. That there is just a little cleaning brush for cleaning out the dry herb chamber in there, which I'll show you in a second. You've got a little gauze there, which is... I think a spit gauze for using concentrates and wax, things like that. Charger cable, you've got a dab tool. Um, this dab tool didn't actually come with this Black Widow, unfortunately. It's meant to come with all, all these bits, but I actually had to purchase that, that, and there's meant to be tweezers there, which I haven't purchased because I don't actually need them. But that's that's the contents of the kit. Well, I'm just going to show you how to use the device, explain to you how it works. Um, it's only actually got one button, so it's very simple. It's five clicks to turn it on and off. When it's on, it will go to the current temperature that you were using it at. Um, and after two seconds of being on, let's turn it off quick. After two seconds of being on, it will start to heat up. So if you're not ready to use it, don't turn it on. Pack pack it out, clean it, whatever it is you're doing, do that first before you turn it on because it will start to automatically heat up after two seconds. And this thing, which you'll see in a minute, actually gets real, real hot, real quick. It's it performs very, very well. So let's um let's show you how to use it. So the top cap, which is magnetic, just comes off uh, by pulling it side to side got these two magnets here which slot onto there and that's solid you know you can go out with that in your pocket it's not going to fall off I personally wouldn't walk around with this you know full of full of your herb in your pocket because if you accidentally turn it on which it isn't any lock for it's going to start cooking your herb in your pocket so I personally wouldn't walk around with it pre-packed not not for the fact that you'll lose the herb but just for the fact that this button doesn't lock so it could potentially heat your herb up in your pocket wasting your herb and obviously making you smell like a walking greenhouse so nobody wants that so how to use it you take the top off and there's so i've just got the wax chamber in mine at the moment which we'll remove just comes out like that just pulls out in here you've got a ceramic chamber in there which does have little holes at the bottom so because I use some liquid concentrates I like to keep that nice and dry a bit of tissue in there just keep it dry you don't want any liquid going through those holes because your battery is in there so electronics and liquid not the best of mixes you would take your grinder grind your dry herbs up put them into there pack it down sort of two thirds full not compact so tight that you can't get any air through the device, but you know, com compact enough so that it's not just going to burn. You then literally put the top on, five clicks to turn it on. You hold this button down for three seconds and it will start to go through the temperatures. So, depending on what it is that you're vaping, hold the button down, select your temperatures, and then just leave it and it will sit and heat up. The light will go green when it's ready to use and vape away. When it's empty, which is something that I needed to know when I, I bought this device, when do you stop vaping it? When's it going to burn? When's it going to dry out? So when it's empty, it seems to just not give off any vapour. So it's actually quite obvious when 
when to stop using it. I'm going to just show you something that I've been vaping in there. This is a, a CBD vape drip liquid, which I sell. Um, I work in a vape shop in in UK, and this is something that we actually sell in our shop. And I, I use it myself. I really, really highly rate this product. Um, I'm not going to give you my website and stuff like that because it's not a sales pitch, but just want to show you what I use. This product here is a 500 milligram CBD, which I'm going to use neat as it is. You can dilute it down with some propylene glycol or vegetable glycerin. Um, I personally don't think you need to dilute it down. You just kill off the flavour and you know you make it so that you've got to vape loads and loads more to actually get anything out of it so if you just use it neat as it is I mean unless you've got like a thousand milligram or a fifteen hundred milligram then maybe you could water that down because that's obviously much more highly concentrated so I'm just going to put one two three four drips in there lid back on we don't want to spill that that's pretty expensive juice this here is a I believe it's a little cap that if you're using this for waxes and dabs things like that shatter or wax you can fill this little chamber up and just put this little cap back on which just holds your whatever it is you're you're trying to vaporize down into the chamber it's not not a full lid but it just it just keeps it in there stops it falling out at the moment this little chamber here is full of cotton it's an organic cotton that obviously can withstand high temperatures it is designed for vaping it actually come pre-packed in this chamber I didn't have to put it in there and all I'm doing is dripping my vape liquid into the cotton letting it absorb it then put the little lid on Then what you do is you drop that just into the chamber there you don't have to screw it in or anything like that just drop it in it's all very simple cap goes on mouthpiece goes on Give it your five clicks. I've got mine set to 392F. So that's started heating up now because it's obviously it's gone two seconds since I've turned it on. So should have started heating up. It does not take long to reach that temperature, which you'll see in a minute when that little light goes green. Once that little light does go green, then it's actually ready to vape straight away. So <coughs> there you go. So what was that? 30, I know it seems like a long time because you're watching a video, but what was that? 30 seconds or something like that. And I've had some, I'm not going to name the names or brands because it's slanderous, but I've had some very expensive vaporizers that do not get up to that temperature in that time. You're sitting there waiting a good two, three minutes sometimes, which kind of takes the fun out of it so I'm just going to give this a vape hopefully you'll see a bit of vapor production and you can just uh, get an idea of how she vapes well, and I know there'll be some haters out there saying you're not vaping that you're smoking a cigarette or something so I'll turn the camera around so we turn the camera around now and you can uh, see for yourself from a dry herb vaporizer to get an amount of vapor like that is I've never had it before out of any of my other herb vaporizers and I've got to say the flavor the hit, I can really, <laughs> it's getting warm in here, I can really feel that, I mean that's, that is a very, very high quality product, but unless, if you're vaping it in something that's not going to vaporise it properly, you're not going to get anything from it, so, the only reason that's working is because my vaporizer is doing a good job, so. Yeah, you, I'm almost getting this sort of amount of vapour you'd actually get from a starter kit, from an, from an electronic cigarette, so it's just so impressive. I 
you saw how much liquid I dripped in there and there's I've had a lot of puffs on it and there's quite a, a lot left in it still so this now is starting to get hot after that amount of puffs so that you need that if you lose that this is too hot but you can buy replacement bits you know these so um, one thing I didn't show you it's it's rechargeable by micro USB on the base there it's a 2200 mile battery I believe so you get about an hour's worth of solid vaping time on this which if you spread that out throughout the day that's that's pretty good it takes about two three hours to charge up but you get you get about a full hour of really high quality vaping so fantastic that should stay on there but i've spilt a little bit of juice on it so it's actually slipping off which is why i'm holding it that's that's not how you use it it actually stays on there well that was the black widow vaporizer hope you found the video useful hope there was uh everything you needed to know in that video if there is any questions or anything you need to know or anything you could tell me that i don't know then just put some comments below the video cheers guys